seven tips on how to create your online business without having any tech savvy, time or business experience. Now I say that I'm really talking about me because that's how I got started. I didn't have any time, I didn't have any tech savvy and I had no business experience when I started my online journey. So before I head into this, I want you to hang on to the very end because I got a great free resource for you that I can help you out with in your business. But what I'd like you to do, if you can, hit that subscribe button down below, the other one, that little red that says subscribe. And then when that little bell shows up, hit that little bell that goes ding. Because what I want to do is make sure you always get to know when my videos are coming out. So let's get back to this, the seven tips on how you can create your online business. And again, if you're anything like me, all I wanted to do is make a little bit of income at first, but I kept hoping that there's something really big out there, but I just didn't know what to do. I didn't know the online world. So your first step is find out what is your business going to be? You know, there's a lot of businesses out there. There's e-commerce, there's affiliate marketing, there's, you could be an author, a coach, you can be, uh, sell physical products, be an Amazon affiliate, or you can make your own digital courses. The second tip, right, is find your niche. First, we talked about business. Now find inside, if you find that business, find your niche. Like, what are you going to do? Right? When I talk about a niche, it's like, uh, where, what are you going to be known for? Are you going to be talking about health and wellness? Are you going to be talking about wealth? Are you going to be talking about relationships? Are you going to be talking about... Those are the three big, three, three big ones. There's other ones, but those are the ones that I concentrate on. See, I'm in wealth because what happened when I started this journey, I saw people out there just like me that needed some help, that wanted to build a business and make some money and had this dream really making a lot of money so you got to find your niche find your business find your niche your next thing is find your target market who are you gonna talk to right is there an age is it men is it women is it single mom that stays at home single dad that stays at home is it grandparents are they cancer survivors are they you know, who are you going to talk to? So you got to find your business, your niche, your target market. Now you got to find your, what they call it an avatar some at times, but really what it is, it's your perfect customer. Who are you going to talk to? See, mine was easy. And, and usually what happens when you start out, your avatar is something like you in your past. Because that's 95% of the time. See, what you're trying to do when you're trying to build a business is find a problem and solve it. See, when I was at 47, 48 years old, it's a, I was at home. I was working. I should rephrase it that way. But I had two kids that were on their way to college. And it scared the crap out of me. Because I really couldn't help them a lot. And then I started looking at retirement, and that scared the heck out of me. I couldn't, didn't have enough money to be putting any money away for retirement, any extra. And I, that wasn't my wife and my dream. So I started looking online at a business. So when I find my target market, my target market is Mark. Seriously, when he's 47, 48, sitting down at a kitchen table, waking up at night trying to figure out how the heck am I going to pay for this? Living paycheck to paycheck. That's not the dream world now the next tip is when you get started in your journey you have to brand yourself right as an authority now when I first got started I got started in the network marketing side and it was always the business got to talk about my business my business my business my business but guess what I didn't stay with that business and I lost everything I had everything out there that I had stayed with that business so I suggest brand yourself you become the authority Make your content that centers around your knowledge. We talked about finding a problem. Find a problem. 
give solutions to it and you start branding yourself as that authority figure that's your whole goal in this thing the next tip I believe you need to have a website now when I first started out I was told I need to blog and you don't have to be a blog that's part of somebody's journey but you need to have a website you kind of consider home there's a lot of people who have a single website page one little page right and on the menu they'll have maybe if they do podcasts they have podcasts they have videos they put their videos up there they might give a couple blog posts but it's where people go to find them if they do courses guess what they have their courses up there now the next next one and this is so huge see you you got to be able to make lead magnets see the lead magnet is somewhere on a page on the internet somewhere you have a form that asks for a name and an email address and then they go go into your autoresponder and what happens is all of a sudden that's see that's your business your list is your business so it could be on the main landing page of your of your website it could be in a YouTube video you have a call to action sending somebody to a form where they get a freebie much where I'm gonna send you to get a freebie on your own so the seven tips find your business right and guess what just find it and if you don't haven't found it right away then it's okay or if you find one and decide later that's not that that's okay so find your business, find your niche, find your target market, your perfect customer. Number five is brand yourself as an authority. Get your own website as six and then build a lead magnet that you can give away freebies where people start to grit your value and they become a member of your list. I'm talking about a great freebie. Down below, I have a link down below I have a link that's how to create a six-figure income online it's just on stinking believable freebie so grab that hey I hope you enjoyed this again my name is Mark Nelson I'd love it if you could hit that subscribe button and that little bell that comes up that goes ding and you'll get noticed when I go on YouTube hey the best thing all these tips biggest thing is get started quit worrying about it just get started grab an idea and slowly start building and you're gonna do great you all take care